today we are going to discuss mean median and standard deviation okay so first uh, we will consider the example so uh, i have considered it, this one the first example here it is the we are going to find out the mean of 2 and 5 16 10 19 and 8 so we have the six numbers you come across with so that is nothing but the even numbers even number okay now we, i am going to find out the mean or you can call it as average mean of these numbers is nothing but how to find out the mean add the numbers 2 5 2 plus 5 plus 16 plus 10 plus 19 plus 8 divided by the number of numbers is nothing but 6 so if you add this one numbers how much summation you are going to get is nothing but 60 therefore 60 by 6 that is nothing but 10 that is nothing but the average of these 6 numbers is 10 so mean or average of the numbers 2 5 16 10 19 and 8 is 10 okay next we will go for the median of these numbers to find out the median of these numbers always you have to remember first you write the entire numbers these six numbers in ascending order so first you have to write the two next highest number is five next highest number is eight next highest number is ten next highest number is sixteen next highest number is nineteen okay median median in the name itself we come across with the midpoint so we have to find out a mid number for these numbers okay so i will uh, explain this one so how it should be means you have to frame the median numbers in such a way that so if you come up to here three numbers you come across with also three numbers if you come across with the two numbers in this one you come across with the two numbers in this one so let us consider so if i consider the the median lies between 8 and 10 because what entire numbers are the six numbers so therefore the median lies between these two numbers therefore 8 plus 10 by 2 8 plus 10 9 18 18 by 2 is 9 so this is the median number so so 2 5 8 these three number lies to the left side of the median the numbers 10 16 and 19 these three numbers lies to the right side of the 19 9 so once again median number is nothing but 9 for the median 9 number so the left hand side three numbers lies and the right hand side also three numbers lies then the this point is called the median of the given numbers so median is nothing but the midpoint so for that midpoint left hand side if there are five numbers right hand should be five numbers if that is the case then we call it as the median okay now we consider the another example here it is the five numbers are there means odd numbers odd numbers means five is the odd number here you come across the five numbers okay how you can find out the mean mean is same as usual in the first example so sum the all the numbers 2 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 4 divided by 5 so 30 by 5 you are going to get 6 so this is the average or mean of the numbers okay next you come across with the median so median the previous problem you come across with even number of numbers here you come across with odd number of numbers that is five numbers are there here first you write the given numbers in ascending order therefore you come across the two four six eight ten okay so this third number is nothing but the 
median of the given numbers therefore for 6 the left hand side you come across with the numbers 2 comma 4 the right hand side also you come across with the two numbers 8 comma 10 so here the two numbers are there here also you come across with the right hand side of the median you come across with the two numbers therefore 6 is the median of the given set of numbers okay next we are going to discuss the standard deviation okay so for the standard deviation consider the first example 2 let us consider one example 2 comma 2 comma 2 and 2 so what is meant by standard deviation I will explain so the first number is 2 the second number is 2 and the third number is 2 and fourth number is 2 and the fifth number is 2 and also the sixth number is 2 suppose Sachin Tendulkar he for every ball if he scores first ball 2 runs second ball 2 runs third ball 2 runs fourth ball 2 runs fifth ball 2 runs then sixth ball 2 runs there is no standard deviation the standard deviation is nothing but you can say that simply 0 the standard deviation is 0 if the Sachin Dhoni scores for the first ball 6 the second ball 6 the third ball 6 fourth ball 6 sir and fifth ball also 6 sir sixth ball also 6 sir then the standard deviation of Dhoni is also 0 let us consider if Sehwag scores for the first ball 2 runs for the second ball 3 runs and the third ball 4 runs and next one 3 runs again 3 runs again 3 runs then the standard deviation is slightly exist exist because here are all the numbers are equal therefore the standard deviation is 0 so now we consider another example 1 for the first ball 1 run for the second ball 2 runs for the third ball 6 runs next fourth ball it is again 6 runs for the fifth ball you come across with 4 runs for the sixth ball 1 run the standard deviation is also exist ok then if the standard deviation exists how you can measure the standard deviation we know that for the third and fourth examples the standard deviation ex exists what is the intensity of the standard deviation that we have to find out or uh, we can find out the standard deviation using the mean only the formula is sigma x minus x bar x bar means average whole square by n this is the standard deviation formula this is the standard deviation formula now we consider one example so 2 5 16 and 10 19 and 8 so these are the numbers for that one average x bar is nothing but 10 so x bar is equal to 10 n is equal to number of numbers is 6 ok now we find out the standard deviation standard deviation standard deviation whole square equal to this is the formula standard deviation whole square is equal to this is the formula sigma x minus x bar whole square that is nothing but the for the first one is 2 here it is 10 2 minus 10 2 minus 10 is how much 8 minus 8 whole square that means 8 whole square x minus x bar next 5 minus 10 5 minus 10 means 5 whole square next one 16 minus 10 6 whole square next 10 minus 10 plus 0 whole square plus 19 minus 10 9 whole square plus 8 minus 10 whole square 2 whole square so if you do that one how much you are going to get is 80, 8 square 64 the whole divided by 
number of items 6 therefore you write 6 therefore first 8 square is 64 5 square is 25 next one 6 square is 36 next one is 81 next one 2 square is 4 divided by 6 if you do one how much you are going to get the value is 4 plus 1 5 6 11 5 16 4 20 10 13 15 6 21 2 1 0 by 6 2 1 0 by 6 means 6 3 is 18 6 5 is 35 so that is nothing but the this is the standard deviation whole square is nothing but 35 therefore standard deviation is equal to root of 35 root of 35 means that will gives the answer standard deviation okay now we consider the if it is the case example is 2 2 2 then the standard deviation means x bar is equal to mean is 2 so if you n is equal to 3 so how we can calculate the standard deviation means x minus x bar so 2 minus 2 whole square 0 whole square again 2 minus 2 0 whole square again 2 minus 2 0 whole square by 3 so you are going to get 0 therefore for this example the standard deviation is 0 this is nothing but the standard deviation so to find out the standard deviation the formula is this one so for the this example x bar is average is 10 and the number of items is 6 therefore standard deviation whole square is this is the formula i have substituted and standard deviation is equal to root of 35 okay thank you